back in a brand new video of Pretty Bunov here to me. Today we have a barking dog. Today we'll be talking about 10 Terran life hacks. This video will contain 10 Terran life hacks. As life hack, I mean things that could especially help of Terran and just make them generally feel better. There are some fun things, some handy things, kind of a little bit of everything in this video. The first Terran life hack I have for you guys is a switchable dog tech keychain. Terran stands to be colors to represent their animality, their domestic side as a human, or simply for fashion or some other reason. While some have multiple colors, seeing how many keychains I have on this color, it can be quite a difficulty to switch them constantly if you want to wear another color. Well, my friend Wolfo had a very smart idea on this thing. The life hack on this is that it is switchable. You have this little keychain here, you hang your tags on, and your tags you can just hang from one color to another color, like this. The second life hack might help many of you guys. You imagine you want to wear a color or a tail, represent your animality in some way, drawings, I don't know what. Well, what if you want to do this and you get questions from your parents, like, what are you doing? Well, what I advise you guys to say is that it's simply fur related or maybe just cosplay related. Or a little bit less extreme cosplay related. In my experience, as you can notice, I'm in quite a lot of those things. The line between furry, cosplay and even theanthropic expression is extremely small. Our friends were Therians and they're also furries and the parents know about the furry factor and they just say that everything they related they do is furry. Many parents are more acceptable around cosplay or furry or teen werewolves or emo, gothic or all the kind of thing, like just saying it's your favorite animal is usually way faster accepted than it is in trophy. But three is a uh, Kigurumi. Kigurumi are those onesies specifically with animal things and stuff like that. Kind faces and long bodies and I got tails like those. I got a cat Kigurumi just because of my free character like you see we bought uh, black white cats. But you can get a Kigurumi of your species. Related to this I also recommend to wear t-shirts with the Theta Delta on it or other Terran related sentences or words. For example I got a red bubble shop with things like dog king, cat skin, coyote king, wolf skin. I'm a Terran, I'm a proud other king, I'm a happy Terran. Terran t-shirts and persons who don't know what a Terran is usually just don't understand it. You can just say it's a game or a forum. When people when do know what a trophy is, they see these t-shirts. Well, if you're lucky, they come to you and they ask you, hey, what is that? Or is it a Delta? Are you a Terran? I'm a Terran. As for Terran life hack, I advise you to go to the Terran wiki for the easiest way and the fastest way of Terran information. The Terran wiki isn't always completely correct, but it's still the easiest way to simply say what is a Centurion, Terran wiki, and you get a very easy and fast response with a clear definition of what it is or should kind of be like. That is a good way to learn about Terran trophy without having to spend hours and hours talking, researching and reading long long blogs. The 5 Terran life hack is nature sounds. You have those nature live stream or nature playlist sounds of 1 hour, 24 hours. You have pretty much everything online. You search for African specific sounds, elephant sounds, lion sounds. And I have noticed that there are a lot of Terrans who love to listen to 24 hour long playlists of wolves who are howling. Sixth Terran life hack is to make a den. You can make a den with those little blankets, pull them over your pillows or on the closet, on your bed or something, and you can make a little den to feel very safe. And do you feel safe right now with me under my cap of blankets? Very cozy and safe and nice. Well, I advise making a Terran den. It's just something fun and something very relaxing to do. Terran life hack 7 is what about tails and colors? Many Terrans don't wear colors or tails, but they want to wear it, but they feel as if they can't. I've noticed that many smaller colors, like cat colors or non-eye catching dog colors, can pretty much pass as a choker. So you can tell to your parents, it's just a choker. Just look up some chokers online, there's some extremely dog-like chokers online, which simply sold in fashion shops. Tails like these were originally designed as keychains to hang on your pants or on your hand or something like that. So you can just say to your parents, it's just a fashion thing, it's from a handbag or on the side of my pants. Or you can blame it on cosplay or furry or something like that. Terra life hack number 8 is to draw a Theta Delta on your hand. The Theta Delta is actually a Terran symbol many Terrans use to represent a Terran trophy. It's a symbol that exists out of a Theta and the Delta. It's two symbols. I'll put the explanation on the screen just so you know better what it is like. A Theta Delta is actually used to represent your Terran trophy, but also draw on your hand to talk to people when you can't really talk for yourself. When you, for example, in school, someone might recognize it and say like, hey, are you Terran? Or do you know what Terran trophy is? Besides that, if people don't recognize it, then you usually take it as a symbol just like a drawing on your hand. 
Then life hack number nine is that you can create some kind of difference for your species, for your kind to identify us as a Tyrion. I know many Tyrions work like volunteer work for animals, like they watch birds or they protect cats on the streets. I know many Tyrions work in wolf conservations and like zoos and kind of just donate on a monthly basis to wildlife and by example. I have an example as a little sneak peek because you've watched it this long. I have adopted a dolphin. Graham, the dolphin that I have donated to and will receive a package of like a thank you package with like plushy and some information. I can watch this dolphin online, I can see what it does, where it is, I can get monthly updates about the dolphin and stuff like that. This way I contribute to this dolphin. I contribute to the dolphin specifically and to research around this dolphin. Even though he isn't my specific species, he's kind of like a cousin to me. I just feel good knowing I have done something good for him. Earlier I actually already donated $60 to the dolphin project. Well, not exactly I did so, Terran Guide did this for me, it's kind of difficult to the point system. And Terran Life Act number 10 is barking with hands. You know, you can bark like this, but barking with hands creates a much more specific, realistic sound actually to barking and howling and other kind of animalistic vocals. We humans, we don't have a snout. Dogs do have a snout. Well, we can construct the sound with our hands. So with hands, barking kinda sounds like this. <coughs> Yet with your hands, it can also sound like this. Just gonna keep quiet right now, I guess. Woof, pity.